Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a scent safari episode. And today we're looking at a house called Miller at Bertau. Um, this is scent safari, for those of you who don't know, is a series where I do sort of first impressions on fragrances that I'm interested in from a house that I'm interested in. Um, and I'll pick four out. Um, I'll do sort of first impressions that day. Uh, I'll put them on my skin and then right before I film the video, I'll sort of top them up again uh, to sort of get a, a second impression, wear them from the day and then go back to them. Now, Miller Bertau is a Parisian design house that does clothing and accessories and perfumes. And they have 10 fragrances in their lineup with the earliest being released in 2006 and the newest 2015. Um, I've had these samples forever, I'm not gonna lie. Like they kinda got lost in the sauce. They sent them to me actually, I believe last year. Uh, and just right actually at a time when I was going through the period where I was dealing with some very personal issues and I couldn't really produce as much content as I wanted. So I sort of just kept these on the side and was like, yo, I'll get to them. Um, and I've been able to get to them recently and, and I've just been super impressed. Uh, and I have four to talk to you guys about today. Um, if you're interested in these in the United States, you can get these either at the Four Seasons website or at the Aids de Venustis website. The first one I want to talk to you about is called Study Number 17. And this one's available, a 100ml bottle. This one goes for $155. And the description on this one is a fragrance that evokes the poem of all words, all the sensations, images, moments that inspired their creation, and they have turned into fragrances. In this poem, they evoke the seasons, a half window, the wind, the coolness of rain, leaves a few stems, the abstraction of nothing. Study number 17 is an intoxicating green eau de parfum with top notes of mint, tarragon, and bergamot, a delicate nuance of flower and geranium, a zesty rhubarb, and black currant celebrates the designer's love of nature, evoking the smell of wild gardens. The base notes of lynchon, moss, and hints of patchouli set a deeper note in the dry down. So top notes on study number 17 are mint, tarragon, and bergamot. Your middle notes are rhubarb, geranium, black currant, and jasmine, and your base notes are moss, patchouli, and lynchon. And guys, oh man, really nice green fragrance here. Uh, to me, this could be a Jean-Claude Elena fragrance for the Hermes Jardin series. Um, I, I just, man, I love the herbal makeup of this one. I get fruit, even though there's not a lot of fruit in here. There's rhubarb and there's black currant. Uh, but to me, this is green. You guys know I love my green fragrances. I love my garden fragrances as well. Uh, this one's fresh. It's floral. It's invigorating. Uh, it, it's very natural smelling. I think it'd be a great summertime uh, fragrance. Um, it's crisp. And there's also a sharpness to the composition. Uh, and I think that comes from a combination of the mint and the rhubarb. Uh, so I don't, I, you know, when I think of a study, I think of something that's like, you know, books and maybe liquor and stuff like that. But I think this is really good. If you're looking for like a nice green fragrance, uh, I think rhubarb sort of a cool note now, you know, obviously speaking of uh, Jean Claude Allen and Hermes, they, they did a rhubarb. Um, fragrance uh, with an Aroli one and, and some of the more recent releases but th this is just a, a to me a beautiful scent. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is called Shanty Shanty and this one uh, same price $155 for 100 ml these are Eau de Parfum so I think that's a really good price for for 100 ml of niche Eau de Parfum. Now the description on Shanty Shanty is find inner peace with Miller Bertau's latest release, Shanty Shanty. This one, Bulgarian rose petals awaken your senses in this sparkling eau de parfum. The soft note of iris extract is juxtaposed with warm spices of cardamom, patchouli, and Indian sandalwood. So guys, your notes on this one 
are going to be geranium at the top and cardamom and rose. In the middle, you're going to get saffron and iris. In the base, you're going to get sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar. Now, I, you guys know, like people who watch my channel know, I'm not a huge rose guy. Um, but I like this one a lot. This is a beautifully jammy rose scent um really bright at the top like at the top when you put this one on right away you're gonna get like a bright rose uh a little hint of like that sort of menthol -y, almost like um eucalyptusy geranium note uh as it dries down you sort of get that iris going on here providing some creaminess there's woodiness here from the sandalwood that makes that that sort of brightens this one up so super well done super blended really good steel with the price tag as it dries down it starts to become powdery i think the sandalwood really starts to come out i definitely get the saffron in this one with the rose guys you know i'm not a rose dude like i'm just not there's there's not many rose fragrances i like there's a few um this is a really good one this is one i could see wearing i think it's super unisex so maybe my favorite of the four i'm not sure just yet um but but really good the next one i want to talk to you guys about is called quiet morning same price, uh, $155 for that 100ml bottle. This one dedicated to Eternal India, A Quiet Morning Captures the Opulence of Saffron and Turmeric. Basmati Rice and Palm Flower give this Miller Bertow a creation its mysterious and wonderfully strange character. A bewitching fragrance with woody undertones and intoxicating spices from far away. Now the top notes on this one, you're gonna get Orange Blossom, cinnamon and palm flower in the middle you're gonna get saffron turmeric and basmati rice so almost seems like savory food and in the base you're gonna get sandalwood patchouli cedar and vetiver now this one mm, i don't know if i love this one it just seems like very sort of done there it's just a really sort of spicy uh fragrance i expected this one to be more savory than it actually is believe it or not um i just get like a spicy fragrance i get like saffron and i don't know that i get turmeric i get patchouli i get cedar i get a lot of cedar in this one um super woody super spicy i almost feel like there's oud in this one like it really does sort of smell like that. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but but this one, it's just sort of like a spicy woody fragrance. Nothing crazy about this one to me. Um, I don't want to say it's a bad fragrance. It's just not something I'd go, I'd go crazy over. The last I want to look at is called Um. OM. And this one evidently is $135 for a 1.66 ounces. So I think a different amount of fragrance here. This one dedicated to Bali. Uh, um gets its name from the Sanskrit syllable mantra recited as in Buddhist meditation. The rich oriental fragrance is surrounded by a well-structured mystical aura and a little hippie, but it's elegant and magnetic at the same time. Sensuality and gourmand notes mark the spirit of um. Top notes on this guy, myrrh. You guys know myrrh is one of my favorite notes. Uh, Elemi pepper cardamom and citrus in the middle we get patchouli teak wood cedar vetiver clove and violet and in the base we get labdanum, and vanilla sandalwood and amber now i like this one it's not super special for me uh it's a dark woody scent if quiet morning was a spicy woody fragrance this one's a dark woody fragrance uh, a little bit of like a candy sweetness that myrrh can sometimes give fragrances combination here to me of myrrh and labdanum decent amount of clove in this one as well but this is a really actually soft fragrance and it, it, to me it's just not super special it's good the quality on all these is great like these are great fragrances they all smell natural the blending is superb on every one of these um I, there's incense here there's clove there's myrrh there's pepper but it's just not to me like special you know the 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 you know in, in my little summation here is that um Study number 17 really was special to me as a, as a garden-y fragrance. I've smelled many fragrances that are sort of herbal and green before. This one did just a superior job at it. And certainly Shanti Shanti 
one of the best rose fragrances I've put my nose on. Uh, I'm not a rose guy. Quiet morning, good fragrance, spicy, woody fragrance, um, dark, woody fragrance, and uh, all just a pure quality. You know, I, this is a house that's been around for some time. I don't know why they don't get their due um, in the community because I, I don't know that I've seen another video on these. Doesn't mean it's not out there. Um, but these are just such super quality and the blending is great and the, the, the materials are really, really good. They perform well. I really implore you to, to, to check these fragrances out. Uh, Aids of Venustis does carry this line in the United States. Oh, as is Four Seasons, so you could check them out there. Guys, if you've checked these out, I'd love to know your thoughts um, uh, on this house because they sent me some other ones and I had pretty good experiences with with those as well. So let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully, I hope you guys are enjoying this, this Scent Safari series. You know, I'm trying to, to continue to make as many videos as possible and, and work with as many houses as possible. Uh, I want to apologize to these guys, uh, Miller Bartow, for, for, for this one taking so long. You know, it's not, not the way I usually am. I just got lost in the sauce. And I'll see you guys later this week with more videos. Guys, you already know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I must know.